In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating UACC key switching with the help of Max for Live. By default, CC32 is hidden in Ableton as it's reserved for program changes. The UACC helper was created as a workaround for this. In contact libraries, the key switching defaults to unlocked articulations. This can be changed by clicking on the wrench icon beneath the patch name then the padlock and selecting Locked to UACC. Once that's been done, you'll see a CC value applied to the active articulation. In this case, it's spiccato with a CC value of 42. This can be used as a reference guide on how to apply the CC values in the UACC helper. I've already set this up accordingly in mine, but if need be, you can change the articulation value via the pop-out menu. Once this has been done, the squares to the right of each key switch can be clicked to change the articulation. The UACC helper is also fully MIDI mappable. To do this, click on the MIDI button in the top right corner of Live, click on the button in the UACC helper that you wish to map. So here I'm mapping CC42 Spiccato to my controller, which in this case is an APC MIDI. Once the mapping has been set, click on the MIDI button in the top right corner of Live again to apply the changes. Once that's been done, I can cycle through the articulations using my controller and UACC. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.